Hello, welcome back. This is Sing Wing Yi, and today's information is very important, very urgent. This is a written report, and you could be very surprised. So, maybe not. All right, so let me share my screen and let's get this started. This is a written report, just came out today, Friday, May the 5th, 2023. And Refin says housing market update homes sell quickly as historic drop in listings fuels competition among buyers as i'm presenting this you have to look at the trends i'm about to share with you for the next 10 minutes or so is very critical the last few years of data you can pretty much just swept that under the rug because the trend we are seeing is dark. If you see value, please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's get started. Home buyers and sellers are unlikely to face another large mortgage rate jump after the Federal Reserve indicated it intends to pause interest rate increases following a year of aggressive hikes. Now keep that in mind, that sentence, that headline, it does not mean that we can guarantee just because the Federal Reserve are not raising any, uh, not going through any more hikes, it does not mean that the mortgage ra rates will continue to go down because the mortgage rates are patterns after the 10 year treasury yield. And also, and as long as the inflation sub subside and it, it, uh, Banking crisis still or continuing, the mortgage rate may go down. But, the, but then again, so don't take it with a grain of salt just because you see this headline indicating that the Fed is not going to raise, is not going to do any more hikes. So remain to be seen. So I wouldn't take this headline as a grain of salt. But and then again, many potential buyers and sellers, many consumers behave emotional when American consumers and buyers and sellers see this type of headline that the Federal Reserve are not going to pursue any more, any more hikes. Then who knows, right? The motivation is there for people to get off the sidelines and enter the housing market. So it's not only about the housing market. It's not only about data driven. It's about psychological. It's about emotional feelings that trigger a lot of housing activities so just keep that in mind oh by the way today's mortgage rate by the mortgage news daily let me put this up is uh 6.5 percent on a 30-year fixed rate mortgage for people with good credit so it has been trending down the past week as you can see that creates a lot of frenzy out there people still want to do it even a 6.5 percent rate so rigs are doing quite well uh, recently for now, this is pretty amazing. While a pause in Federal Reserve rate hikes does not mean a significant drop in mortgage rates is coming, it does at least alleviate one layer of uncertainty in the housing market, said Refin Economics Research Li Chen Zhao. He said unexpected bad inflation data, more banking turmoil, or failure to raise the U.S. debt ceiling could throw a wrench into the Fed's plans, but the homeowner buyers and sellers can still feel a little more confidence. See, it's all about confidence. It's all about emotions. It's all about psychology that the mortgage rates won't start again. Right? So for now, homes are getting snatched up quickly as a shortage of listings sparks bidding war between the buyers. Who remain in the market despite elevated mortgage rate. In the living an example, I live in the San Francisco Bay Area and lived there and have lived here for more than 30 years. So uh, I understand my local market conditions and all that. Although, you know, as a real estate uh, investor, I guide many hundreds of my investors to buy out of state turnkey properties over many years. Having said that, one of my uh, local agents here in the San Francisco Bay Area, I spoke with him. A couple of weeks ago, his name is Tony Bruno, by the way. He and I have done some videos together. But he's a buyer's and seller's engine, one of the top producer engine in the San Francisco Bay Area. And he told me that one of his one of his clients was trying to buy a house in Fremont, California, which is in the East Bay or San Francisco uh, area. And that house listed for sale 
uh, and this price was $999,000. The home was built in 1972, about 50 years ago. And the house square foot, a three bedroom, two bath, is 1200 square foot. And he told me this, uh, I know this is a small sample size. This is just a one a transaction, but just to show you, even in California, even in the very cyclical up and down market, as in the San Francisco area, this home received 66 offers, six, six, 66 legitimate offers was submitted to bid on this home, which is listed for $999,000. The winning bid was a cash buyer who is offering $1,275,000, $1, $1,275,000. We're talking almost a three hundred thousand uh, dollars uh over asking this kind of numbers we have seen back in 2021 at the peak of the greatest pandemic housing boom in history of the earth i'm not saying we can have a repeat of 2021 again but this type of energy is happening all over the country especially entry-level homes below the median price on the respective each market region. Just go to show you, this is crazy. What's going on right now is beyond belief. And the reason why or I'll share with that with you. Okay, let's continue. Nearly half of the homes that were sold this past April, they were under, con under contract within two short weeks. Even though it was down 51% a year earlier, because a year older, year earlier, May of 2022, the mortgage rate was in the low fives. So we have seen a lot of frenzy at that time. So hard to com compare year to year over year, but still it's pretty poor here. One of the resident agents was interviewed and says, reasonably high price homes in desirable areas are selling especially quickly as buyers compete for a limited number of homes for sale. New listings in April were down 23% from a year earlier. Down. New listings down almost a quarter from last year. The second biggest decline since the start of the pandemic. That outpaced the 70% year over year decline in pending sales. Also, a gauge of how many buyers are in the market. Look, even though we have 40 year low, really low, a lot of people cannot compete. They will qualify to buy more and more and more because of skyrocketing home prices in the past three years. You still have enough demand because the supply is so historically low as we speak right now. And one of the reformations says, yeah, on one of his listings, yeah, they received five offers on a house, which was priced at 1.5 million, well, almost like the house I just, the example I just gave you. But the seller had to cancel the listing because that seller cannot find a move up home to buy because that seller, if they, if he or she would sell that home for 1.15 million, she cannot be qualified to buy her own move up home. As a result, she canceled the listing. So she decided to stay put too. So yeah, that's what's happening. Okay, so let me see. Let me skip over the most important highlights here. Let's go over the sales price increase in for Lauderdale, Miami, uh, Milwaukee, Cincinnati, and Newark. So a lot of the Florida markets are continuing to to achieve increases in the whole prices. No surprise there. Florida is uh, really a real bust right now. It's, it's just massively growing by leaps and bounds. Median price, a little bit below 400K, which is unchanged from a year earlier. Median asking price, that is. Pending home sales are down almost 17% year over year. See, all these trends are very significant. Continue active listings. New listings fell almost 23%. Pending sales are down almost 17%. This type of trends are very significant, extremely significant. And you'll see that throughout the rest of this year, if this, this kind of data continues to play itself out. 
Wow. Let me see what else. And uh, let's get back to month of supply. Okay. Again, four to five months of supply is considered a balanced market. However, right now, the month supply is 2.7 months, which is reaching at a very historical low. The only month supply that are lower than 2.7 months or was uh, a year ago when the uh, supply of homes nationwide were 1.9%. But last year is an anomaly. Okay, it's a historical year, including 2021. When you take from an overall context, from a historical perspective, 2.7 months supply of homes is extremely low. Extremely low because home homeowners are sitting, they're locked in at the historic low mortgage rate. They're not going to uh, sell their homes, many of them, because why should they give up their historical 3% mortgage rate to move up to an upgraded home where they have to pay a mortgage payment based on 6.5% interest rate, and essentially doubling their mortgage payment monthly. So they are sitting tight. So sellers are not selling. They are just locked in, sitting pretty on the historical rate. So getting back, this is like my take, my takeaway is this is economic 101, extremely low supply and still pent up demand equals home prices is going up steadily. So what crash? What correction? That's, that's past. That's in a back view mirror. You're not going to see crash or correction from me anymore, given the current data of what I have seen so far. That's my strong opinion because again, economics 101. Extremely low supply, pent up demand. You still have a lot of buyers who can qualify to buy homes these days, even with the interest rate of 6.5%. So, anyway, 5% of homes are sold above the final list price. And here are the, let me, let me conclude with the charts. Medium sales price have decreased 2.7% year over year, but do not let this word bother you because Ever since, ever since the around February, next February of this year, a few months ago, the home prices have been rising. We can, we can make the argument the home prices are rising like six, seven, eight percent in the past you know, few months. So all the housing price decline in the second half of 2022 are more than offset by rising home prices to date so far, April. 2023, as you can see, right? To me, it's a wash. Not only there's no real estate crash that occurred so far, there are, the corruption is very minor. The corruption over like six months from August of 2022, when the skyrocketing uh, interest rate occurred all the way toward the end of last year, 2022, seeing few other trends, because the first six months of last year, we have seen appreciation. And all the most appreciation in the first half of last year was lost during the second half of last year. Now it's being made up. <laughs> See, it's, it's, a, it's, a, yeah, it's a flat lining. The trending is up because, because of what I just said. Economics 101. Meanwhile, the people that purchase homes as a primary home and invest in homes in the past few years, they have achieved massive wealth in a mere few years during the pandemic and a lot of the homes are not coming down anytime soon so for those of you who are staying on the sideline we need for the prices to come down based on the current data that's not happening who knows no one could predict the future but the trends and data are overwhelmingly clear to me we are considering housing pent up housing frenzy potentially median asking price let's go on median asking price it's pretty much flat, as I indicated earlier, and those parts there. So just stop with the doom and gloom, stop with this it's freaking out. There's no need to freak out. Long term, real estate always will increase in value. So anyway, yeah, mortgage payments are at least up. Housing payments is up almost 10% year over year for people that are, that will keep a lot of people in, on the sidelines because of our Home affordability is getting worse and worse for those, especially for the first time home buyers out there. So that's pretty sad. All right. So pending sales, like I said, when we have pending sales minus 70% year over year, this means low inventory will continue to persist. And new listings is down 23%. 
on the spring housing market, where normally the spring market is, is the highest level of housing activity on a historical basis. And, and we have seen this, this um, historic drop in new listings uh, for in the past few months of this year. This is very telling. Active listings, see, all year over year for the past few years, we have seen active listings during the spring normally goes up. But this year, active listings have gone down. Look at this downward trend. And how low it's going to get. People are not putting their homes up for sale. Therefore, creating some housing frenzy everywhere, especially entry-level, lower medium price homes in many markets. Again, 2.7 months of supply available in the market. It's, look at the trending down. Supply of homes available for sale. There's virtually very little inventory, especially on the lower end homes. So it's trending, continue trending down 2.7% inventory based on April 30th. What about the next few months? How low is it going to get? It could get down to two months, less than two months inventory for the rest of this year. What is going to cause inventory to rise? The mortgage rates have to in, uh, de decrease. The mortgage rate have to decrease. In fact, let me conclude this. The mortgage rate have to be decreased below 6% in order to entice some of those home sellers to put their homes in the market, right? Does that make sense? If the mortgage rate continues, here's my takeaway. I'm not telling my takeaway. The takeaway is if the mortgage rate continues to be in the mid 6, 6%, 6 we can see many bidding war, many multiple offers in many markets in the country. All right. And so really everything points toward to a lot of positive policy views for the rest of this year. Absent any significant events that could impact the housing market, such as elevated job losses or, or something bad happens in the economy or a war situation, whatever. Other than that, we will have a good economy, a lot of jobs still are available uh, out there, and our inflation is uh, slowly coming down. And so there's a lot of positive news. So the point is, these trends clearly will tell me this year, 2023, is going to be a robust year. So we will be your primary home buyers, uh, prospective home buyers, whether you're all real investors. Uh, who, who's to say? We, they have a long-term deal. And you can qualify to buy homes. Now it's time to pull the trigger because the longer we wait on sidelines, the longer uh, the prices will continue to grow and the price will out uh, in the housing market. And uh, you're going you're gonna to regret it. That's all there is to it. That's all I have to say. If you receive a lot of value from this presentation, please smash the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And also, uh, subscribe your email to my newsletter on my website below so you can become a free member of our real estate investing organization. Once you put down your email, you will receive our weekly email newsletters about real estate investing, where to buy, you know, what kind of property you can buy, two and three properties, property cash flow, great free information. So you can potentially become a good real estate investor as well, not just a primary home buyer. Okay, so hopefully you will see a lot of value from this presentation and I will continue to get you updated on many areas of housing market, divergent information, critical housing information, so you can make an informed decision and, and a good long-term buyer of real estate. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video. This is Siwin Yi. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.